A Russian destroyer fires warning shots in a Turkish boat on course for collision in the Aegean. This is coming out of RT. This just shows you how much of a shooting war is about to begin, folks. A Russian destroyer had to open warning shots on a Turkish vessel sailing on a collision course towards them and didn't respond to calls from the warship, the Russian Defense Ministry reported. The following incident, the Russian Defense Ministry warned the Turkish military attaché the possible harmful consequences of reckless actions by Ankara against the Russian military contingent involved in tackling international terrorism in Syria. Deep concerns were voiced over another provocation by the Turkish side against the Russian patrol ship in the Aegean Sea, which forced them to open fire, and it may have only been warning shots, but still, it was in order to avoid a collision with the Turkish vessel, the ministry said in a statement. So, I'll ask you guys this once. How crazy do you have to be to have a potential enemy vessel on a collision course with its radio either silent or running and them coming straight at you with a collision course? Now, I've had this happen at sea once. Well, not technically at sea because it wasn't in the ocean, but... Basically, the situation was I was on a, uh, a ferry to go to an island, and there was actually a freighter. Well, it came down almost to the moment before about, I'd say about a quarter mile between us, which you, you think is a lot, but when you think about the ships moving and the current and everything really isn't. And basically, the freighter was coming through one way or another, folks. And the ferry was huge. I mean, it was, I'd say, 500 feet plus, whatever the normal, you know, length and height and everything. So, you know, for these two ships to almost collide, one of them had to be acting a bit off that day. So, I've been in a similar situation, and yes, if the if the ship I had been on had collided, we were told we needed to jump from the ship. Now, I don't know if we would have or what the situation is, but definitely with what's going on between Turkey and Russia, Russia now had to fire warning shots at a Turkish vessel. Now, I don't know my Geneva laws quite so well, but I would say any active shot downrange as a warning for a collision, for defense purposes, would be pretty much up there with an active war. But like, uh, you know, like the Russian and Turkish. Defense Minister said it's provocation. It isn't an act of war. If they would have sunk it, it would have been an act of war. So, I don't know how far NATO and the U.S. is going to allow this thing to go. But, folks, when you have to fire warning shots at another vessel, even inside the Aegean, which I've never been to, there is a problem. I mean, these two ships see each other on GPS, on everything else, and yet the Turkish vessel was on a collision course with the Russian vessel. Now, do we really believe the Russian side 100%? You know, did they maybe move into a position that put the Turkish ship on a collision course? You and I will never know. Honest to God, you and I will never know. But the very nature of this, folks, is that 
this actually happened. And this was a Russian destroyer. And I've seen several accounts of this. One said it was a Turkish uh, patrol ship. One of them said that it was a Turkish fishing vessel. In fact, the one by RT actually said, calls it a fishing vessel. But some of the other ones, I think even BBC has published this already. And it said that it was a patrol boat by the Turkish military. Now, I don't know if it was like a, you know, one by the Coast Guard for like, you know, fishing and this and that. And, they, and that's how they got the fishing thing. Or if it was a civilian fishing boat and, you know, they said to be assholes. Or maybe it was, you know, the Russians trying to be assholes back. But anyway, Russians did have to fire warning shots to stop the collision. Now. What do we really know? Not much. But this happened in the Aegean. Um, I don't think there's a date on this. Let's see. Yep, December 13th. So they got this story today, which means it either happened yesterday or the day before. So as much as I want to click on this, I don't think this is a video. I think this is a standalone picture, but you can always view it if, in case it's a video. Now, we can believe whatever we want as far as whether or not it's a fishing vessel, a patrol vessel, an undercover vessel of the Turkish military. Wh whatever story you want to say is fine because that's not even the point I'm trying to logically produce here. The point I'm trying to logically produce here, folks, is that this was in the Aegean Sea 12 nautical miles from the Greek island of Lem uh, Lemnos. And 12 nautical miles, folks, off of anything is still well within reach for anyone, you know, to do any kind of maneuvering to avoid collision. Um, this story here is trying to say the crew of the, uh, what they're calling was the Kreshning class destroyer, uh, Smet Livy spotted the quote-unquote fishing trawler some 1,000 meters from the Russian warship early on Sunday morning. Ministry said the ship was sailing toward the destroyer and ignored radio calls, contacts, and attempts to communicate. So, your guess is as good as mine as to what one was and what one, what was and what was not going on. But, Basically, folks, this is the idea here. I mean, Russia has officially put rounds down range, and they're getting ready to do more, I guarantee it. Thank you.